friends. Happy Saturday. So I asked you guys if you wanted me to go live for this quick, powerful word, or if you wanted me to just release it on a really quick word. And I casted lots and the lots fell upon releasing a video and not going live. <laughs> I casted lots and it fell on recording. So um, thank you guys who participated in that. I just wanted to include y'all this morning. I'm like, normally I'm just like, okay, how do I feel? Let me do live, how, how is God leading me? But I just felt led to ask you guys, you know, what do you want today? Do you want a live or do you want me to just release it? 60% said just release the word, 40% said go live. So we're gonna go with majority rules. <laughs> so. Let's get into this uh, really quick word, guys. I have my Bible, so I'm gonna be reading from the Simplified KJV Version Bible. And I have my notes that the Lord spoke to my heart a little bit after midnight this morning. <clears throat> I don't know who this word is for, but whoever it's for, you'll know it's for you. It will resonate with you. Take the word to, look to the Lord, take me to the Lord. Um, but this is just what the Lord spoke to my heart um, after midnight this morning when he had me up <clears throat> watching something and just taking note of what was going on. Um, this is also something that he spoke to me earlier in the week uh, when me and a sister in Christ were on the phone and he just spoke through her something <laughs> for me specifically. And it makes sense with this, uh, this word. And it's something that I knew was going to happen. Um, but I think just like a lot of other people, once you've gone, um, I'm really tan, guys. I'm like three different colors. Texas done burnt me chocolate, okay? And don't say nothing, y'all. Um, <clears throat> I just noticed that. I'm like, wow, I'm like four different colors. Um, but yeah, I think when you... When God speaks something to you and it sometimes takes a while, a lot of the times you kind of put it to the back of your mind and you don't really think about it like that and he'll bring it he'll bring it back around to you. So I think this was one of those moments as well, but I also know this word isn't just for me. And I woke up this morning and I asked him to give me uh, some scripture uh, for this word. And this is uh, a set of scriptures that he also led me to earlier this week. And I don't know if you guys write in your Bible. I take a lot of notes in my Bibles. I have several different versions of the Bible and I take a lot of notes in them. I prefer a physical Bible over a phone, right? Cause I like to write notes. Sometimes I put dates of when I write the notes. This just happened to be a case where I did not uh, date um, when the Lord gave me uh, these sets of verses and what he gave me behind it. I didn't, um, Someone was texting me. I didn't date it. So, OMG, guys, I'm sorry. Someone keeps texting and it keeps like blocking my screen. <clears throat> um, but let's get into this word, guys. Uh, the Lord is saying they're coming back. They're coming back. So for someone to come back, it means they've been in your vicinity before. They've been in your dwelling space before. <laughs> They've been around you before. You've been around them. This is not something new, but it's going to come back as something new. But the Lord is saying they're coming back. Love dot 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 again. Okay, love dot 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 again. Okay, let's get into this word. <clears throat> God is not uprooting your life. He's rebuilding it. God is not uprooting your life. He's rebuilding it. Something old from the past is coming back in a new way. It won't be the same. The first time it didn't work because it wasn't built on truth. Capital T. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. The first time it didn't work because it wasn't built on truth. Again, capital T. The foundation wasn't solid, but the second time around, the foundation is solid and the past events helped to solidify it. It wasn't for your harm. It was always for your good. Neither person will want to make the same mistakes that were made previously. Love dot, 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 dot again. I'm gonna read this one more time. 
and ooh, my writing is not cute. <clears throat> God is not uprooting your life. God is not uprooting your life. He's rebuilding it. Something old from the past is coming back in a new way. It won't be the same. The first time it didn't work because it wasn't built on truth, capital T. Okay, guys, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. So God is saying it wasn't built on him. The foundation wasn't solid. But the second time around, the foundation is solid. And the past events helped to solidify it. It was never for your harm. It wasn't for your harm. It was always for your good. Neither person will want to make the same mistakes that were made previously. Love, dot, 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 dot again okay the lord is saying they're coming back love dot 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 again now who they are when it comes to your situation you will you are the only person that would know that you and god okay who they are in this scenario for you it could be romantic it could be a friendship it could be many different things okay take this how you see fit but it is heavily um An intimate relationship is um, what it's heavily based around, okay? An intimate relationship. Um, someone that you were previously either married to, dating this person, whatever the case may be. Take that part to God. I'm just giving you guys the word. He's saying they're coming back. Love, dot, 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 again, okay? I'm going to read from Matthew uh, chapter 1, verses 18 through 24, and I'm reading from the KJV Simplified Version. It says, <clears throat> Now the birth of Jesus was in this way. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child from the Holy Spirit. So basically it's saying before they were married, before they even had sex, she was found pregnant uh, with Jesus by the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pause right here really quickly um, because the Lord showed me this a long time ago. It was maybe a couple of years ago. How if you ask most people, um, when did the Holy Spirit like come here? Or when did the Holy Spirit come into existence? They'll say, oh, when Jesus died for our sins and he sent the Holy Spirit as a comforter. But the Holy Spirit was always here. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they're one. The Holy Spirit was always here because God was always here. Even before Jesus was born, God was here. So it was the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. So that's something the Lord taught me a couple years ago. And I, I, I was like, oh, that makes sense because, like I said, most people will say, no, the Holy Spirit came after Jesus died as a comforter to us. But the Lord taught me, no, the Holy Spirit has always been here. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to continue. Then Joseph, her husband, being just a man, I want y'all to catch that. Um, for those of you that are, that this is a restoration of a romantic relationship for my ladies when it comes to an uh, ex-husband um, <clears throat> or something of that sort, that we are just human and we make mistakes. I really want you guys to hear that, okay? Then Joseph, her husband, being just a man, we are faulty humans, okay? And not willing to make her a public example was resolved to put her away secretly. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take to you Mary, your wife, for what is conceived is in her from the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus and he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled what was spoken from the Lord by the prophet saying, behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted as God with us. 
Then Joseph being raised from sleep. Y'all better catch, ooh, y'all better catch that and compare this to um, Adam. Y'all better catch this because I ain't even gonna go deep in, into that. Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel, ooh, y'all better catch that, did as the angel of the Lord had asked him and took to him his wife and did not know her until she brought forth her firstborn son. That part, that part with them saying um, he did not know her, they're not saying like she was a stranger. They're saying he didn't have sex with her until she gave birth to Jesus. And he called his name Jesus. Okay, what y'all better catch, y'all better have caught that um, woke from his sleep part. Y'all better have caught that. I don't even want, I almost want to preach on that so bad, but I'm going to hold my tongue okay y'all better had caught that when he awoke from sleep he knew exactly what was going on with mary and he knew that was his wife when adam woke from sleep he said bone of my bones flesh of my flesh okay he took notice of who his wife was after he woke from his sleep y'all better catch that don't make me preach on this lord don't make me preach because i will go into it what the lord is saying from this set of scriptures, and again, this is something he taught me a couple years ago. I, I believe I wrote this a couple years ago. When the Lord has you carry something big and others don't understand it, they will try to put you away quietly or secretly. But who God has brought together, let no man separate. Who God wants in your life long term is exactly who will be there, and they cannot change that. When the Lord has you carry something big and others don't understand it, Mary was carrying something humongous that nobody else would ever carry. And Joseph didn't understand it because he was just a man. <laughs> He was just a man. Humans make mistakes. We're faulty. We're dirty. We're disgusting. We're some little adulterers, but God loves on us still every single day. He forgives us every single day. Grace and mercy renewed every single day. He didn't understand what she was carrying. And when people don't understand what you're carrying, sometimes they put you away. They write you off as weird. Uh-uh, this isn't for me. Nah, something's wrong. Let me just divorce. This ain't working out. When they don't understand what God is having you carry, a lot of times they'll try to put you away. Not just romantic relationships, family too. Friends too. When they don't understand the call on your life and what God is having you carry and how you're such a divine connection to them, when they don't understand the magnitude of what you're carrying, it's easy for them to just try to put you away secretly. But who God brings together, let no man separate. And that is not just for marriage. Whoever God wants in your life, whoever is supposed to be there divinely, they're divinely connected to you, God's way is what will be done. Man's free will does not override God's purpose. I hear people say that all the time. Well, humans have free will and you really think your free will will override God. I think not. Okay. When they don't understand what you're carrying, they'll try to put you away, write you off, stop talking to you, cut you off, talk about you. But at the right time, God will show up and tell them exactly who you are. And wherever God wants that person, wherever God wants you, wherever God wants me, it doesn't matter. Man can plan his ways. I can say I'm going to the left or to the right, but God orders our steps. I can say this is where I'm moving. This is where I'm going. This is the job I'm going to go to. I can plan my own ways. This is who I'm going to marry. But God orders my steps. He orders your steps. An order is a command. You cannot turn down an order or a command from God. You know how power... He's omnipotent. He's all powerful. <laughs> you cannot, ain't no way. If there is something God wants you to do, if there is somewhere he wants you to be, you can try to run from it, Jonah. But at the end of the day, you're going to be right where he told you to go in the first place. You can try to run from it, Apostle Paul, a.k.a. previously saw on his high horse about to go on his merry way. 
He was knocked right off that horse. When God wants you somewhere, he's going to put you there. When you are called and chosen, <laughs> you ain't going to get that far on your run. Many people didn't understand the magnitude of what you were carrying and they tried to put you away. But who God brings together, let no man separate. Many are awakening. Awakening, is that what I'm trying to say, Lord? Many are awakening from sleep. And when they awaken from sleep, they're going to know exactly who you are. That's the word, guys. That is the word. Really quick, short, powerful for who it's for. God bless you. Take this word to the Lord. Let him give you um, more revelation on how this relates to you. Um, but yeah, that's the word, y'all. Excuse me. I'm about to go grab me some sushi and come back home. And I ain't leaving the house for the rest of the day. Um, <laughs> because this past week has been super busy. But that's the word, y'all. I love you. I hope y'all have a great Saturday. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I got to show you guys. I've done some decorating in the house. So I got to show y'all that, but I'll show y'all that on another uh, video. But it's looking kind of cute in here. I feel like Martha Stewart. No, I, she went to, to the pen. I'm not. Never mind. You know she does decor. Forget it. Forget it. This is why. Just forget it. I feel like a little decorator. And it's cute. But I'll show you all that in another word. But that's the word, y'all. I love you. Meditate on this. Take it back to God. Take me back to God. Do what you need to do. Uh, but we'll talk soon. Love you guys.